Yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I was in here jamming. I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you. Thank you. And y'all know it's your girl, Yo Yo. And today we got Kino from the Kino Show. Uh, so how are you feeling today? I feel good. I can't complain. I worked, got some creative stuff done. It was a good day. It was a good day. It's always good when you're having a good day, right? You know. So um, I got a chance to check out your page, okay. and I want like I I love the the interviews that you be doing and everything. I'm like this is my first time having a blacker <laughs> on here. You know what I mean? So. Okay. Wait, say that. It, it was messing up. I'm sorry, my mom. It's okay. All right, so tell us a little bit about the King Lo Show. Okay, so it started from when I lost my sister. I had okay. a sister named Kendall. So okay. she had passed away from a sickness, and then I was going to do a breakup, and okay. then I was just going to do, like, this real bad depression. So I was like, I got to figure out, like, what to do in that process. Like, should I, you know, what, what, am, what am I going to do? Like, am I going to sit here being sad? I'm going to do something I love, something. So I just started writing. So... Then after that, me and my dad were talking about it. He was like, how about you just start a blog? So we went from there, and I started writing ideas, and he did my logo, set up the website, everything for me, because he a graphic designer, and he okay. a Virgo, too. So, like, <laughs> Virgo's in it. Virgo's is in it. Right. So, so first, sorry for your loss. You know, they always put us in spirit, okay? So I also, um, when did you start it? I see you I say started, 2014. Yeah, 2014, I was 19. Yep, I was 19. So how much, like, you feel like you progressed a, long, a lot from the time that you started? Yeah, I progressed a lot, I will say that. Like, even from, like, how I write and the rebrand, like, I progressed a lot. I will say, like, even open up, opening up myself to other people, you know, just speaking, I will say I got real good at it. Like, just, just saying, oh, yeah, my name is Kennedy, you know, nice to meet you. Because I'm, for the most part, I mean, it's hard to believe. But I'm low key shy, but sometimes I break out of it. And Once you like, break out, you break out. I yeah, know I as a Virgo. I know as a Virgo. So <laughs> during this, because I see like, you know, when you on a path and you get broken, sometimes that brings out the best of you. You know what I mean? And experience the loss of your sister and then also going through a breakup. I can really relate. I experienced mm -hmm. the loss of my sister and then mm -hmm. I was also in the middle of a breakup. So when I say I lost about 58 pounds, okay. Mm -hmm. I can really relate. And I just was always thinking like, what can I do to keep busy? What can I do to keep mm -hmm. busy? So in that, it puts you on a path like a spiritual awakening. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. starts you off on a journey. So can I ask, how was that journey thriving for you? Um, like it was rough at first. It was rough because I felt like I didn't have a lot of self-love at first, you know, because I was learning now. I was learning about self-love and self-respect, like while I was still doing, you know, this part. So I had to figure that part out first. And I was 19, so I didn't know, really know what I was doing. You know, I was just around people, not understanding energy. So I had to I had to go to God. I was yeah. going, I going to church and stuff like that. But then I realized, like, I don't necessarily got to go to church. Like, I can, you know, really practice what I know for myself and just implement it in my everyday life. So that's what really helped me just... Just finding out different things, talking to different people, being around different people, even being being in college, like being in college, knowing about hard work and what you really want out of life. So I felt like through college, getting closer with God and being around different people taught me a lot about what life just is in general and how people are in general, too. So that's what really helped me. Well, I want to say congratulations from coming to that awakening. And I believe that was your, probably your dark night of the soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I want to say congratulations because that is a tough situation. You are an amazing being. Thank and you. when I met you, I met her in um Oh, we met her when I was singing to you. That's how I met her. I was singing to her. And <laughs> the, but before you even started singing to me, 
when I walked in the club, the first thing I locked eyes on, on was your ass. Okay. I was like, yeah, get it, get it. I was at the door like, uh, uh, uh. Personality speaks for itself. It shines yeah. through. Like, without even speaking to you, you could just feel that light off of some people, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And then I'm like, definitely on your Instagram. I love it. You know, I like things that I like, but just your positivity in a world today is crazy. And I want to also talk about something that you said on your blog. Can mm -hmm. I read it? I'm going to read yeah, it. Go ahead. Oh, it says, it's time to use the technology we have to do more than post selfies and negative mindless jabber. One person can't change the world themselves, but collectively we can accomplish more than what we um, could ever imagine. When I say I love that and I felt that, so how do you select who you want to follow on Instagram and what you choose to follow? Um... See, because I'm a writer, like I look at words first. Like I, I ain't gonna lie, I look at words. Like as soon as I see the caption, if it come up kind of weird, I'll be like, no. Nah. Like then I look at the bio to see like what you do, or if you got too many RIPs, I'm gonna think you up from the rip. <laughs> I'm gonna think I'm gonna think something a little off. Like and then I look at the pictures too, cause you can read energy through pictures. I don't care what nobody say. You can read. Damn, why everybody around you dying? <laughs> Say that again. I said, and it, when it yeah, be it's like, like, yeah, why everybody around you dying? So it's like. The whole list be like, R.I.P., R.I.P. Yeah, I be RIP, like, RIP, God RIP. damn. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I'm just like, yeah, I look at the bio. I look at the picture. I see how you looking at them. Like, if you look upset, I'm going to feel like we're going to do some rough shit. Like, I don't want that. I don't want into that kind of world. So, yeah, that's how I look at stuff. Like, I always read people's energy through pictures, too. Like, if it look kind of off, then I'm not going to follow you. If, right. if it's positive, I'm definitely going to follow you. If it's, if it's something that I can implement in my everyday life, then I'm going to do it. Right, right. Okay, so now with the blog, like, um, how often do you blog, and how do you find your topics that you want to blog about? Um, I blog a lot. Like I will say that I blog a lot. Like I write. Um, like as I'm getting ready for the seasons, like mm -hmm. I write everything out first, and then when I'm ready to release, that's when I um I proofread everything, and then I release it, and then I could be having a normal conversation, and someone just click, and then that's when I write about that topic. Like I, so I, do your I, ass I, walk around with a pen and a pad on you, yeah. or do you just be noting it in I your just, phone? Yeah, I just put it in my phone. Like I go home, like I'll keep it in my brain till I get home, and then I go home and just make a header, mm -hmm. and then I'll just like start writing, and then I might, I might say like, you know what, this might not fit because I'm trying, you know, make sure we all can relate to it, not just me. Right. So that's how I go about it. That's how I come up with my topics. Amazing, amazing. Now, and another thing that I wanted to ask you: being a blogger, what? And for like, what info can you give to new bloggers? You know what I mean. That's just starting out. I would say just keep on some shit. Tell people that you want to do it, and if they look at you crazy, they mean you on the right page. Like once, like that's how I did it. Like I was just like, I was first. I was like, no, I don't think I could do it because I'm a shit talker. Like mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna do. It. I said I might get in trouble, but I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do it. And honestly, I hate to say just do it, but you really just gotta do it. Like. Every day we on our phones, but ever come to mind, just put it in your notes. Like notes is very underrated for some people, but notes will help you do your everyday life. Like I still got notes from like 2016 in my phone. Yes. From yeah, just building, just building, building, building. Like I still got I all my can notes. So like, relate. like that's all it takes. It's just that like you gotta know that you can do something, then you gotta visualize it, and then you really gotta put it in a place. And I'm not gonna lie, the journey not easy. Like it's been times I would say this shit I couldn't do an interview it's been plenty of times I done forced inter like interviews because I wanted to happen I wanted my show to keep going on but I realized as much as as long as I got my heart and as long as I keep up with my personality and you know go on with this everyday life the way that I am like shit gonna come to you it's all about the energy that you put out so whatever you put out you know you get back so I always try to be positive even in the rough spots everything like when i say let's have a minute okay because <laughs> my girl throw that shit on okay y'all i need y'all to check her out because every time when i look at you i just be like i know she just see that on she's so cute you really have to think too hard into your outfit Look at you, amazing! Like this, the angles. That's my favorite one right there. That's my. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I love it. That was yeah, that was for my birthday. That was like, that was good. Yeah, that right here. That was a really good day. I was pretty popular today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Love it. That's the burger outfit right there. <laughs> 
I remember that day too. Oh, I remember that day. That's matter of fact, that one in the chair, that's when I released the website. That's I the felt this remember. picture to be so amazing. Thank you. Okay. You had and I read auras and I read energies. Mm -hmm. I'm a median. And mm -hmm. when I looked at this picture, it was so many positive energies around you that I probably would think that you would be unaware of. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would not get into it right now, but I can tell you when I looked at this picture, this picture was like amazing. Just Thank the glow you. on you. I can tell you just overcame something. Like this picture was definitely it for you. Okay. Thank you. I love it. And like the fashion, let's talk about the fashion. So you just throw it on. Like I, I know you probably don't take twenty hours to get dressed, or do you? No, I don't. Like, <laughs> like you know, Virgo. Like we gotta prepare for everything. So I gotta prepare things. Like once I see it in my head, like that's when I know. All right, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get this. So boom. Like I just, I get it. I order it. I put it out on my bed. And that's it. Like that's really how I go. Like I, I feel. I figure out what color goes in my skin. Which shoes probably look fly with that. Then I'm like, you know, e even if I do look like somebody, something gonna be different about that outfit. It's something gonna be different on, about that outfit on me. That's how I go about it. Like I, sometimes I just throw anything on, but I try to make it look right so I can look presentable. At least, at least. really jing on i don't give a fuck if the shirt matches the pants if i like my pants that day i'm gonna put the pants yeah, on yeah, if i like the shirt. shirts i'm gonna put the shirt on and then the shoes and then people be looking at me like you look so crazy that you look sick in this shit and i'll be like really thank you i just threw this on <laughs> i always do it what's your opinion oh, on oh, meeting new God. friends as an adult rather mm -hmm. chronic friendship or dating or whatever as an adult to meet new friends as an adult it's easy to make new friends as an adult it's just like you got to read people energy better like you know what i'm saying because people often flock you know people flock to what they feel you know was comfortable right. so i feel like you got to step out of your comfort zone but you got to understand you can't always be comfortable with everybody you got to know who's an associate who's a friend and who you can keep at a distance so i think it's easy to make friends it's just all about knowing the energy that you want to be around Right. Because I'm like, even with COVID going on and everything, mm -hmm. you just still be so funny. And then I look at it like, you know, friends that I had in my life, I had friends in my life for 16 years, mm -hmm. 19 years plus. So for me to meet a new person, I'd be like, I know I got so much more experience with befriending somebody. OK, mm -hmm. so I'm just be like, OK, red flag, red flag. And then it's like when you do meet a new person, you be like, all right, come on, let's go out. And they start acting a fool. Like, do you exit that friendship, or do you give, <laughs> or do you give it another chance? I usually just exit. Like, I can't deal with funny energy. Like, I can't deal with too much all at once. Cause once I see you doing too much, like it's like, all right, like <laughs> I'm cool. Like I'll keep you. Like even if you cool, like I keep you at a distance because I know what I want around me. Like I don't do too much. So I was like, if you doing too much, I can't. Mm -mm. I can, when I say this little bit of time to get to know you was amazing and Thank keep you, doing your thing, okay? Is there Ooh. anything that you can tell these bloggers out here that's like, you know what I mean? From another pop blogger. Pop your shit, like real shit. Just pop your shit. Seriously, like whatever you got with your brain, like just whatever you holding in. I mean, just, just talk about it. Because we hold a lot in, and there's nothing wrong with letting it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody can relate to your story. Everybody can relate to each other in some kind of way. Like, everybody different, but they the same in some way. So just pop your shit by, by any means. <laughs> like, by any means. Y'all heard shit. it. It's pop your shit. <laughs> pop your shit. I love it. And y'all, her information is down at the bottom. You have oh, to yep, check it out. Me. Yes, you got to follow her. She great, great, great morning vibes, okay? Affirmations, I love them. Thank you know, like I said, the swag, y'all could take a thing or two or three, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it is thekingloshow.wordpress.com, y'all. You have to check her out. And again, babe, thank you so much. You got to come on, not just for an interview, but to pick up mm -hmm. one of these crazy topics. I got a bag with a bunch of topics in it. And when I dug in it, girl, the first topic that came out was paranormal activity. I said, I can't talk about paranormal activity during a fucking interview. <laughs> So that's how I like do all my topics. But thank you for being the third episode on okay. Yo Yo. Okay. And I will definitely see you again, love. Okay. And good luck and have fun at your interview. Thank you.